good Monday morning my dear YouTube friends just arrived at the house and I can't wait to check on the floor the uh, the egalization layer or smoothing layer of concrete has been sitting there now since uh, Friday late afternoon so Friday it's Monday morning it should have been cured we should be able to walk on it Ooh, look at that Yeah, cool. Well, I mean, there's a there's a difference between drying and curing. It's definitely dry. <coughs> it's definitely not cured. I think the curing process that may take up to a week or so, probably even longer. But that doesn't matter. Um, it's dry, and I can walk on it, and we can work on it. And that's most important for now. Nice. So that means that we're gonna change this back into a carpentry workshop because we got a lot to do today. Got a lot to do this week. Things are coming together now uh, a little bit. First of all, I gotta make the threshold. Reinforce the threshold. That's been sitting there now. So I've positioned the threshold on the uh, wall, basically, and I've uh, sealed it off on the inside with cement. I have um, stabilized the threshold with uh, some bricks, uh, uh, just put on top of each other, wedged it sort of tight, but um, it is not strong enough to walk on. I have to uh, backfill the outside, the exterior. So as you can see, um, I'm going to uh, pour a concrete uh, base uh, underneath the, uh, what is it called, threshold, stepping stone, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, and, and yeah, I'm going to do that today, and the reason being that uh, one of these days I might uh, accidentally step on the stone and dislodge everything, and that and that would uh, that would be a shame. So uh, yeah, I'm going to pour concrete, fill all those uh, nooks and crannies in there, and uh, tie the whole lot together. Probably stick in some rebar. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, I'm uh, definitely going to do that today. Build a nice box, line it with plastic so that uh, the moisture from the concrete doesn't sink into the into the soil below, and uh, and pour concrete. And I need to do another bit of masonry today as well. And that's going to be here on the inside, because uh, in that corner, that corner. We're going to install the poêle, the stove, the fireplace, whatever you call it. And I want to have that uh, sort of raised a little bit uh, from the main floor. That will do today. Ah, and then there's this, uh, this back wall. I need to uh, add some more of these, uh, what do you call them, studs, really. These studs where the tongue and groove planking is going to sit on. Um, I think um, there will be at one point a TV installed here, so I want to have some more studs there uh, to provide extra support. Oh, and then we're going to finish the uh, the old door frame. There's still some parts that need to be put on, and then it needs to be uh, painted with this preservative um, before I do anything else, really. Oh, there's, there's plenty to do, but things are going to uh, 
to come uh, together well not not everything but things are starting to come together this week uh, this Wednesday they will deliver the tomat the tiles that we use in the house I'll show you what kind of tile that is it's a traditional um, clay clay tile you see it it's um, yeah it's it's porous on the top well, on all sides really um, which provides for gives you a matte matte look of it uh, not a glossy tile because uh, you know we it's an old barn we don't try to convert it into a ballroom it's it's got a it's got to be a cottage feel so we ordered these tomat and um, we also got a product that sort of seals the surface and makes it a little bit more um, uh, dirt resistant um, and that is the first thing I'm going to do when they arrive here I will treat them I'm not going to install them first and then treat the hole I'm going to treat them one by one first because I really don't want to have any cement stains or grouting stains on them uh, that is also the reason why I really would like to do all the work that's going to create dust before I'm going to install the floor and sawdust is not that bad but lime dust is, is, is just not good it's hard to wash off that means that I gotta finish sanding and painting these walls before I can install the floor now you can see this I hope you can see it there's a transition here in colors you got the real white, which is two cones of paint. Then you got the light gray, which is dried and cured lime. And then you got the dark gray, and that is still humid. That's still got to got to dry before I can properly sand it. And I don't know how long that's, that, that that is going to take. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. I'll catch up with you later. I'm just gonna drag all my stuff back from the living room and what's gonna be the kitchen one day and uh, <laughs> turn this into another workshop. Ah, the essence, the essence of life is just moving stuff around. It, it really is. It definitely the essence of uh, of, of doing a house up like this moving stuff around okay catch you later so I've uh, completely covered that uh, stepping stone with, uh, with plastic and tape so I don't want to have any uh, uh, concrete stains on them Bonjour. Ouais, come, 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 viens. Euh, ici, c'est fragile. Non, non, non. Ah, c'est bien, ou là Ça a changé, hein Ah, oui. Ah, oh, c'est bien. C'est bien. Ouais. Ah, oui. Ça sort. Ça se met. Et la porte. So as you can see I have covered the stone and bits of the door frame with black plastic because I'm going to pour concrete under here to uh, provide support for this stepping stone or threshold or whatever you want to call it. Now I hope you have seen that under the stepping stone you've got a lot of crevices between the wall and the brick that I've placed between the wall and the stepping stone to get it at the right height. I want this concrete to fully penetrate those uh, crevices. Therefore, 
I have uh, yesterday spent the whole day uh, making really complicated mathematical calculations and trigonometry and algebra and I worked throughout the night on my uh, CAT program doing some 3D modeling and this morning I finally uh, fabricated a uh, spectacular device that's gonna help me aid the concrete to penetrate those crevices because I can't tap here or vibrate to get the concrete to move so uh, yeah I've come with this and uh, well I know it doesn't look like much and uh, it isn't much but it's it's a bit of string and a bit of wood and what I'm gonna do is run the string underneath the stone and then I can move the bit of wood up and down or sideways and by that make the concrete sort of move around instead of sitting stagnant in one place and it's all piling up on the edges so hopefully this will work and I think it will work to aid the concrete to move underneath the stone and slowly fill all those holes and crevices gonna see Yeah, that will work. That will work.
remember when we, uh, I think it was in one of the first episodes, when we broke out that wall to create a door opening, I recovered uh, all those natural stones, they call them pierres. I've uh, selected a few flat ones with a flat side and I washed them, rinsed them off and uh, I'm going to start building something up. So I've made this uh, raised bed um, purely and alone from uh, from stuff that I didn't throw away. Those uh, pierres, those natural stones came out of the door opening. This uh, styrofoam that I've used to fill up, to bulk, uh, were just offcuts from, from the insulation uh, of the roof. So that uh, that shows that you that you should never throw anything away. Tell your wife that you shouldn't throw anything away and tell her that, that I've said it and, and she'll understand. Now I'm uh, gonna let this cure. It looks like a mess but it will uh, clean up pretty tightly. I'm gonna wire brush all the uh, excess cement off and then uh, I'm gonna fill with uh, with uh, lime, lime mortar and uh, all those crooks and they will, they will be filled with lime mortar and uh, then I'm gonna brush off the excess lime mortar so it, it will look like a, yeah like a, a nice little I don't know I don't know what it will look like. It will look cool, yeah. But I shouldn't touch it until tomorrow. I've used a lot of uh, styrofoam instead of uh, pouring concrete because I don't want this to be such a mass. Such a mass that requires heating up or, or stores cold air and releases it when I want to have the house warm. I just want it to be, to be light and, uh, and not too heavy. So I've just uh, arrived at the house, good morning, it's Tuesday today, yeah Tuesday, I just come back from uh, uh, Fair Baudar in uh, Saint-Poussin where uh, I've ordered the tomat, the tiles for the floor and uh, the iso isolation plates that are going to be directly on this poured concrete floor but uh, it's a bit of a setback because the uh, isolation plates are not available until next week Thursday and I had hoped to have the uh, the tiles in this weekend yeah uh, it's a bit of a setback but it's actually uh, it's actually better because uh, this will give me now the opportunity to uh, to finish everything properly before the tiles go in and uh, yeah that's just better it's, it's not good to touch up on paint up uh, on the ceiling uh, while you have new tiles uh, on the floor uh, yeah it's, it's better to do the tiles at the very very last moment really and uh, but that's okay that's okay it's actually better it's actually better so yeah, the uh, the threshold's been sitting there now for you know almost 24 hours. I'm gonna leave uh, gonna leave that wood on. Give it another 24 hours before I start uh, I start taking them off. And uh, the little 
stone plateau has been uh, curing for almost 24 hours. We're gonna a brush, uh, steel brush, wire brush it a little bit to get the cement as much as I can out of the grooves and from the stones because later when it's cured I will backfill it with a lime mortar. It just looks better. So I'll do that and then I really have to make the window for upstairs in the loft. That is uh, a priority. And then continue on with this back wall and then uh, yeah, eventually I'll have a big painting day or a couple of big painting days when I have to do the frame in the, of the window, the back wall, the door frame, etc, etc. I finished the door frame. I've put in uh, these last, uh, what do you call them? I don't know, wooden, wooden beams, I don't know. But, uh, and I've, I've tried the door with a little bit of uh, this draft strip installed and it, uh, it works fine. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm actually really happy about the door frame. You know, Scott Brown, he says, uh, but can you, hang you might be a carpenter, but can you hang a door? Well, I did not only hang a door, I just built the whole door frame myself. So uh, there you go, Scott Brown. I wonder what he would say. It, it probably something, he, He'd say something like uh, sweet ass because because that's how they talk in, uh, in New Zealand yeah. you can see uh, the walls I don't know whether you can see it but actually uh, the drying process is continuing and uh, I can see that the moisture really uh, migrates downwards slowly evaporates so that's also good uh, yeah, I can, uh, I can give it a, a few more days than I initially planned before I start sanding and painting that. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing that, those that, uh, that I can't lay the floor this, uh, this weekend or before the weekend. Right, we, uh, we carry on as we normally do. Let's get started. So yeah, that is uh, that's how we done it. Um, yesterday I put uh, the lime mortar in and I made it quite a wet mortar so that it would uh, really penetrate through and fill all the holes and cavities. And uh, it's been sitting now curing for 24 hours. It's still moist uh, or humid. And uh, that makes it easier to brush but now I gotta stop brushing, I gotta let it fully cure and then I can uh, brush again. Um, if I continue brushing now, I run the risk of uh, taking away too much. Nice, I'm, I'm quite pleased. Alexa, stop music. So, um, I have installed the uh, insulation foam. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to put my first uh, tongue and groove plank on. Yeah. 
Morning, everyone. It's uh, Friday, last working day of this week. Oh, today, finishing all the carpentry. I gotta uh, finish that wall, and then I gotta make myself a uh, compostable toilet box. Then I'm going to clear it out and prep for painting. The walls need to be painted, this wall needs to be painted, the window frame needs to be painted. I, uh, I made a window frame for the little window on the loft. Made it beautifully out of old oak. Really well finished actually. Got the glass with it. <laughs> I went up to check, I got the wrong size. I didn't account for the frame width. It can happen. So I, uh, I made a new one. It's not finished yet. Still got to drill the holes and put dowels in and then ferret a bit and sand it. 
and I got glass from the shop this morning. And when I got the glass, it felt like it was super, it was a bit too large, but I think I measured correct. I should have. So let's check. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Oh, I did that right. Now I better go up and check to see if my frame is actually the right measurement. I should be. So it's uh, Friday afternoon and uh, my week is done. I'll probably be working on Sunday. Um, I've done all the carpentry. Yeah. So now it is uh, tidying up and then uh, prepping for painting. Sanding the walls, that wall is dry. The back wall is still not dry. We'll see how we go with it. I have no idea why. Really don't know. Um, what I wanted to do is just go quickly over some uh, remarks and questions uh, you have uh, sent me uh, based on the last video. Uh, some of these channels they do a Q&A but uh, you know we have 1300 subscribers so uh, there's no need for a q and I think. Uh, we just go over it. Ah yeah one comment. Uh, love that you aren't afraid to go back and redo what you aren't happy with. Yep, yep. Learn from my mistakes. Do it the proper way uh, as soon as you can and uh, save yourself a lot of hassle. Ah, yeah, uh, Keith, right, <laughs> he must be a tall guy. Hope you will have enough headroom after installing leveling concrete, insulation, floor heating and tiles. Yep, I do. And it's probably because of uh, the angle, the camera, you can't really see, but uh, if I show it you like this, that's that's still my headroom under the beams and this will become approximately two and a half three centimeters less after I put in uh, the floor heating and the tiling so that's about an inch that's yeah that still it still works it's uh, more headroom than I've had in the camper van for a long time Oh, this whole discussion about windows opening from the inside and outside and doors inside and outside. You know, I'm happy that I made this door opening inside. It's, uh, it, it works. Uh, there was a concern from someone that it won't hit uh, the, the uh, chimney. Um, and it, it, it won't because it will hit this raised... Um, raised floor that I've built to put the uh, wood burner on but I will install a stopper somewhere because I don't want anything uh, to get damaged there was a question a big question about how to apply and how the Renopas show works okay very simple I probably haven't explained it well enough you see here on the edge this is the brickwork my exterior lime rendering won't stick really to the bricks and therefore I apply a layer of this Rhinopass show first and on top of that the lime rendering. The lime rendering is one part lime two parts sand, hydraulic lime I've used and the Rhinopass you just uh, mix it with water and uh, you smear it on and uh, I can't you know praise it enough it's just really easy to work with and it's really easy to reshape afterwards by sanding or sanding or uh, using a wire brush so I've also said you, you you might even consider using this Reno pass as a final coat um, it's, it's, it's really fine it's got some structure but it's really fine and you could even paint over it I don't know um, that's the exterior um, and then the interior what I've done is I have I can't show you can I no I don't think I can still sh no maybe I can yeah I can I have uh, used 
on the, on, the, on the walls inside I've used Rhinopass as a primer and on top of that I have uh, put a coat of just lime, just lime and water. You just make a really sticky muddy batter and you smear it on and uh, later sand it smooth and then uh, I have painted it with a with a wall paint that is uh, that is suitable for uh, these porous uh, substrates so, so that is what I have done I hope that clears clears up yeah the the damp render on the lower part of the wall overlooking the garden could that that is a question from Patrick could that be because there is damp rising up that wall I think you said the earth was too high in the garden okay have a look at my garden at the moment as it is that big hump there is way too high there was a big hump sitting along on this wall and there was even a tree growing here but I've dug it out a trench almost almost to the depth of the floor in the house not exactly but almost and I can still see that the brickwork here can you see it it is still a bit humid huh? it's a bit dark there I don't know why I really don't know why I understand why on this wall it's damp because there's a whole pile of rubble and well there's even a plant growing so yeah that will keep the wall moist but that wall is actually not that humid it's 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 this wall that's giving me a lot of trouble and i i honestly i don't understand it it's been weeks since i've dug that trench um, it should have been dry by now yeah i i don't really understand yeah i think the last one yeah the last one there, there was a hint on because I'm temporarily we're going to live in this small house of 16 square meter 160 square feet while we live in this house we can do up the other two houses that form part of this property and therefore I'm going to install a kitchen in this house because we want to cook obviously I'm actually going to remove the kitchen I have built in my camper van and place it here with some adjustments and somebody said well you know why why damage your wall and instead build a, uh, a a wooden back and build your kitchen onto the wooden back which you place against the wall so that you don't have to drill in the wall now I'm not going to do that the reason being is that that construction would cost me more time to make more money then it would cost me to redo the wall or at least partially redo the wall apart from that you know i i think we are going to be living in this house for at least the coming two years while we do up the rest of the house um, so yeah i i just want to have a normal functioning kitchen and i want to be able to normally live in this house and not camp in this house i want it to look nice and, and pleasant that after a days of working I can really relax here and and uh, yeah don't don't have the feeling that I'm improvising it's it's just not not working for that that uh, amount of time so yeah I am going to place a kitchen block there there will be some overhead cabinets there will be a uh, suction a vacuum hood with a big wall uh, hole through the wall but you know what doing these walls it's not it's not that much work well, when you have the tools ready and, and uh, your products yeah and, and doing this wall up after taking a kitchen down compared with the work that I still have to do on these other two houses is really negligible so yeah I have the feeling I didn't do much this week but uh, yeah I have I have done quite a bit I have finished this wall this is all finished. I have finished the, uh, the, the, the edges with trim. I have put trim there. I have already prepared the kicking board. What I ne need to know do now is finish off my, uh, my window frame for upstairs. 
Uh, that's the last bit of sanding I have to do. And then uh, it's gonna be cleaning up and sanding the walls and a painting. Yeah, I have the door. I think I have installed the door already last week, but I have painted the door and I have painted the door, f the door frame. It looks really cool. It looks really cool. It looks quite, uh, quite fancy actually, I think. Yeah, I've, I've finished the uh, the threshold. Quite happy with that one. Uh, in the meantime, I didn't film it, but I've also made a little roof above my outdoor, my my antique uh, smart light. Oh yeah, and I have built this uh, this this part where I'm gonna place the. Uh, the, the wood stove on. Yeah, that has come out uh, really neat. And uh, this was a nice little exercise for me because we are going to do the exterior of the house, the big house, like this. So with a uh, protruding stones and a, uh, a lime uh, mortar grouting. We're going to do the exterior ex exactly like this. Yeah, so I'm I'm uh, pleased how that how that uh, turned out, and uh, yeah, that job that went really well. So yeah, next week uh, we're gonna make some big changes because this is all gonna be wide behind me, and the walls are gonna be wide, and I have to do quite a bit of touching up on the corners, on the edges. And then uh, late next week they will come and deliver the tomat, the floor floor tiles, and we're gonna lay a floor. And then uh, after that it's just basically gonna decorate it, put the kitchen in, and uh, what have you. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm I'm quite pleased. I've also made a start on sort of tidying up the rest of the house. I have. Uh, didn't film it, but uh, I've made myself a nice little temporary toilet box. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be the uh, temporary. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a compost toilet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh, See, oh, there it is. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind uh, decorating it with some uh, fake gemstones and gold paint and uh, stuff like that. Really turning into a throne. Why not? Okay, um, that's it from me for this week. I thank you very much for watching. I thank you very much for subscribing, liking and commenting. As you know, as long as, it, as, as, as I still can, I will reply to every comment I get, I will reply to every answer I get and I will try to explain. I think that's my duty. If you take the time writing me, then uh, I should take the time writing you back. And uh, we've got 1322 subscribers as of today, I think. So it's still, it's still doable. I, uh, I still have plenty of time to work on the house. Right, catch you next week. Bye-bye.